Hey everyone, Penguin Sal here again. Today we're going to be doing our first review from our initial day of demos we did back on stream. So that was showcasing five demos, and I'd like to give a review on each of those. So the first one we played was called Die in the Dungeon. I thought this game was absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you straight, straight up, right up front, I loved this game. Sure, dice builders, as we'll call them, are getting more and more common, where instead of collecting cards for a deck, you collect dice with different effects and stats. But this one played out pretty interesting because it had a board where you had to lay out the dice, and they had different synergies that could happen depending on where you placed them on here. There were boost dice that would enhance ones that were certain distances away. Also, there was a lot of enemies that influenced the board and would take spots from you. So there was a lot of strategy in where you'd put the dice. And then along with some of the more interesting dice you could get, like the mirror and the terrain die, there was actually a lot of synergies you could do that, that made it look like when you could possibly lose a run, you were able to bounce back in no time and, and clear it. Um, sure, in the demo, you're only able to play through part of one run. But in just this one run, I thought it did exactly what a demo should. It showcased the interesting parts of the game, the, the fun mechanics of the gameplay, and, and made you want to play more. So I give this one a ton of credit for making it one of my more anticipated games that hopefully will release by the end of 2023. I will likely check this one out in full the day it comes out, so we could potentially have a further, longer review of this game. But I would say just from the demo, this is an absolute recommend to anybody who likes the deck builder roguelike genre. This gives it a spin with the dice and then with the mechanics of placing them on the board. I think this one has a pretty decent amount of replayability and that was from playing one single run in the demo. So we will be keeping an eye on this one. It's called Die in the Dungeon. You can wishlist this one down in the link in the description. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And if you're as excited for it as I am. The next demo we'd like to talk about is called Below the Stone. I'd actually heard good things about this one. Um, there are people that have been playing this one and, and talking it up, even though it is just a demo. Um, it looks like it has a release date scheduled for quarter four of 2023, so we may see this one coming up. Below the Stone is a roguelike game where you play as dwarves that have to go down into the mines to collect resources to get better gear to continue to go down and go further and further into the mine. The premise is pretty standard, but I'd say the gameplay was pretty fun. Um, there was a good amount of weapons and different enemies, and it reminded me a bit of Deep Rock Galactic, in that you had to call down the dropship to get you, and then you'd have to go back to where the dropship is and wait until it's ready to launch, so you had to fight off waves of enemies, and that's where I thought the game got a lot tougher, was just the large amount of enemies that would come to see you off before you were able to go. Um, I thought this one had some potential. I enjoyed it from the couple of runs that we did in the demo, since the demo let you keep going pretty much as far as you wanted, so we played a few runs. Um, this one, I don't know if there's anything that, like, super stands out as being insanely unique about the game, but it looks like a fun, fun play that has some replayability that I think will offer quite a bit to, to people that like roguelikes like this. Um, hopefully as we see the full version come out we'll see some of the things fleshed out a little bit more in terms of the different armors and weapons and resources and and enemies and maybe there's different levels um that might increase like the variability of the runs but i would say this was a fun one from what we played not necessarily super unique as a whole but definitely offered something to people that like these types of games like i said it, it's scheduled for a quarter four release in 2023 so we should see it sometime this year and maybe we'll come back and check on this one once it's released, even if it's in early access. We'll come back and try this one out, because it was not bad at all. I think this is one that's, that's worth trying out, especially since there is a demo. The third demo we played was for a game called Potion Permit. This one, I'll be honest, was not my, not my favorite demo that we played. Um, I had some issues with it. It obviously took a lot of inspiration from Stardew Valley, which is a game that I do love and have played a lot. Um, I thought there was quite a bit of inspiration from this one, including the you pass out randomly at 2 a.m. even if you have stamina, where you'd have no reason to know that because it's kind of arbitrary. Um, I think 
my biggest gripe with this game though is the fact that sure i get it's linked to the story that everybody's supposed to kind of hate you at the start but every single random person you talk to is just unpleasant to deal with i'm sure it gets better as you progress through the game but i have to say at least for myself it didn't really make me want to invest time in these people and get to know them further when every single one was very much a douche um the first time you talk to them and that just doesn't make you want to, you know, invest into a relationship in these people and get to know them better when you're the new person in town and they all just hate you right by default. I also thought it was strange that the monsters come out all day long, not just at night. So there wasn't really a difference between going out and harvesting for resources during the day as opposed to at night. I thought it would be interesting if, like, at night they were monsters or harder monsters or something but maybe with better rewards to try to make you want to go out at night otherwise it's it's the same as the day so there's not really any change there um i also thought that i was hoping that this game would be able to be carried by the fact that you know you are a potion crafting alchemist so the potion crafting in the game is a little bit of a puzzle like there is some some thought that goes into it and, and really, uh, resource management that goes into it. And I thought that could really carry the game. I thought it was it was fun, but I'm not sure if it was fun enough to carry this game in the long term over the course of, who knows, this might be a 40, 60 hour game. It is just a demo at this point. Um, you can go check it out. I believe there is a full version of this one available and I, do, I will have a link for it in the description. If you wanna check this one out, there is a demo. Um, it, it does seem niche for people that like, you know, a Stardew Valley type cozy resource management farming, yada, yada, yada type game, then you could check this one out. Otherwise, this was not my favorite game. And I don't think based on the demo, I would be able to recommend this one. The fourth demo we ended up playing was for a game called Clockwork Owl. This one is interesting in that it's a roguelike deck builder of sorts but it's based around the old coin pusher games you would see at arcades where you drop a coin in and it would have to push the stack of coins off and then depending on the amount of coins you knock off in this it does various effects like damage to the enemies or potentially heals you depending on what kind of coin you dropped in while that conceptually is what drew me into trying out the demo i'm not sure if it's a game that's going to have a lot of replayability going forward it it's an interesting concept. If you like this type of niche game, you could check it out. I do believe there's a full version of it that just released within the last week or so. Um, if you want to give it a shot, there is the demo. I actually think this game really showcases why people should try demos more. Because they can see if this game feels like something they would want to, you know, invest the price of the game into. And then, you know, play consistently. It didn't really seem to fit that for, for me. I thought there was some fun to it, but I think a big part is I never really liked the coin pusher games at the arcade. Um, they were just never really a thing that I thought I was particularly good at, so I never spent a lot of time playing them. This hopefully will get more as it continues in its development. We'll get more replayability and unique features. Otherwise, off of the one run that we did beat, I saw everything that I wanted to out of the demo. So... If you like this kind of game and you're in the type of niche where you tr like trying different types of quote-unquote deck builder roguelikes, uh, I would think this one's worth a try, at least for the demo. But otherwise, it would not be high on my list of recommendations. I think there's other demos to try. The last demo we played for this was a game called Spike Air Volleyball. Um, from reading the reviews from this game, since there is a full version, a lot of people are saying that mechanically this was the best volleyball game that's ever been made. So I thought I definitely had to check that out. And I have to say, based on the gameplay mechanics, this game was a ton of fun. Um, I really hope, going forward, if the developers see this video, please add online co-op. If this game gets online co-op, I think its replayability goes up the roof. Currently, it just has local co-op, which I think is kind of a dying breed right now. Um, so if it adds online co-op, I would love trying this. Because I had to say, my wires got crossed a little bit trying to control everybody on the team at the same time where if you were the front man trying to go for a block and you missed the block it was hard to also be ready for the libero to go and make the reception as well and keep the rally alive so i think if you could play this with other people online this would go up through the roof 
I do think we tried the harder difficulties and the computer gets really, really good the higher you get. We got pretty much destroyed it at the Master Jedi difficulty. Um, but this one mechanically I thought was a ton of fun. I didn't play it long, it was a demo, but it was pretty fun. And the, the moments where you got like an ace or a strong block, those felt really good. And I have to say, mechanically, I did think it was smooth for the most part. And I don't think that's easy to do making sports games. There's a lot of sports games out there that mechanically are not fun to play. I thought Spike Air Volleyball was a ton of ton of fun to play. They are in early access currently, so there is a full version available. If anyone wants to try that one out, there is a link for it here in the description. Um, but I thought this one was fun. If you like sports games, I would check this one out. I haven't played a lot of volleyball games, but I would say this was probably the best one given the tiny amount that I've played. Um, I did really enjoy it. Um, if it comes out with an online co-op, there's a very good chance that I, I will check this one out again in the future. If not, I'm not sure I'll play it more than I already have, but I would check this one out. So if you guys liked what you saw here, feel free to give the video a like. Subscribing to the channel would, would, do, would go a long way in terms of helping out our channel and letting us make more of these videos. If you guys tried any of these demos and agreed with what I thought or disagreed, feel free to comment down below. We do plan on making more videos based on the more demos that we play going forward. We've been playing a ton of demos lately and I'd love to showcase games that maybe aren't getting enough love or showcase some games that aren't out yet that you know can hype people up for when they do release. Um, so feel free to wishlist any of these games. I'll have links for all of them in the description. And let me know what you guys think. If you want me to keep doing more of these demo videos, let me know that in the comments as well. I would love to keep talking about these. And let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching this, and I'll see you guys later.